Hello everyone. In this video, we will be seeing uh, more details on black body. So black body, as you know, it is a uh, body which is absorbing all incident energy and it is reflecting or transmitting none. That means black body is a perfect absorber for which absorptivity alpha is 1 and the reflectivity as well as transmittivity is 0. Usually the uh, black bodies are visually black in color means all black bodies are visually black but all visually black need not be uh, black for black bodies for radiation purposes and there can be cases uh, where visually uh, bodies which are appearing bright or white may be black in radiation purpose for example the eyes or white paper which are quite dry to the eye but are actually uh, black for the radiation purpose because they are having the absorptivity which is approximately near to 1 or they are having 0.97 to 0.98 is their alpha value. So you can consider this ice or white paper as a black body. Anyway, no actual body is perfectly black that means no body can absorb all the radiation. The concept of black body is an idealization only. Uh, with which the radiation characteristics of real bodies can be compared. That means it is similar to that of a Carnot cycle. No uh, air standard cycles are having 100% efficiency. So you can compare the real uh, cycles with the Carnot cycle. Similarly, you can compare the real uh, bodies with the black body. So it is only for a comparison purpose. A black body condition can be approached by uh, passing a radiation through a hole into a cavity. So here you are having a cavity which is of shape and hole is provided if a radiation is incident on the surface then it will be getting reflected so upon this incidence it, this cavity will be absorbing some energy and remaining will be reflected and on the surface something will be absorbed and this reflections will be uh, continuing so there will be multiple uh, incidence for this radiation will be happening and finally after this repeated reflections uh, the entire energy will be absorbed along this walls of the cavity means complete absorption will be happening so a radiation passing through a hole into a cavity can be considered or idealized as a black body this is an example for a black body we have mentioned that black body is a perfect absorber if so then it will be a perfect emitter that means if any body is absorbing maximum amount of energy then as much that maximum amount of energy will be emitted also. Means if you are taking uh, different different bodies which are at same temperature then out of all those bodies at same temperature black bodies will be emitting maximum radiation energy. That means emissive power of any real body will be lesser compared to that of or the emissive power of a black body. And how much it is lesser? That will be represented by a quantity or ratio which is known as emissivity. Emissivity is represented by epsilon. It is giving you the ratio of emissive power of any body to emissive power of black body at the same temperature. Since real bodies cannot emit as much as energy as that of black bodies, the emissivity value will also always be lesser than 1 or this emissivity will be varying from 0 to 1. This emissivity of any real body is the amount of energy emitted or MC power of real body by MC power of black body at same temperature. So you can find MC power of any real body will be equal to the emissivity of that real body into the MC power of a black body of, of that same temperature. And if you are taking a black body, the emissivity value will be equal to 1 as you are comparing a black body with a black body. Next, you will be seeing the different black body radiation laws. Here, we will be discussing majorly three black body radiation laws, which are Max Planck's distribution law, Wayne's displacement law, and Stefan Boltzmann law. First, you will be seeing Max Planck's distribution law. This is giving the relationship between monochromatic MC power of a black body with the wavelength and temperature. You know that monochromatic MC power. The MC power per unit wavelength is monochromatic MC power, which is uh, written as eb suffix lambda and there is some distribution which is based on the quantum theory c1 divided by lambda raised to 5 into e raised to c2 by lambda t minus 1 where c1 and c2 are the first and radiation first and second radiation constant for this uh, law and this expression you can find in the data book 
so data book radiation chapter is given in this uh, fifth edition of this uh, data book it is starting from page number 70 so already we have seen wavelength is lambda equal to z by nu radiation property the sum of absorptivity uh, reflectivity transmittivity is 1 and next now we are discussing about this Planck's law which is giving the monochromatic emissive power eb lambda the same expression z1 lambda raised to minus 5 here it is coming so here lambda is coming in the denominator and where c1 and c2 values are given c1 is 0.374 into 10 raised to minus 15 watt meter per square and c2 is 14.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter kelvin so this is the this relation between monochromatic emissive power and this wavelength lambda and t we are calling it as max planck's distribution law so if you are making a plot between this monochromatic emissive power with respect to wavelength for different temperature then you will be getting a plot which is in this way so for a temperature t1 you will be getting this monochromatic emissive power eb lambda varying with respect to lambda in this way if you are increasing the temperature this t3 is greater than t2 greater than t2 so if you are increasing temperature then monochromatic emissive power will be increasing and curve will be like this and another curve for t3 which is the highest temperature is also shown here the important observation observations from this planck's law or this distribution uh, plot are eb lambda monochromatic emissive power is a continuous function of lambda continuous curve at a given temperature if you are taking any temperature say t1 then with respect to increase in wavelength eb lambda increases first then reaches a maximum value then it is decreasing so it is an observation from this plot another one is at any wavelength eb lambda increases with increase in temperature so if you are taking a particular wavelength if i am you are taking a particular wavelength then for t1 the eb lambda is this one and for same wavelength eb lambda for t2 is this one and for t3 is this one means at any wavelength at any wavelength means this value eb lambda increases with the increase in temperature and a fourth important observation is as temperature increases the peak shift towards left means for each temperature it is having a specific curve and each curve is having a peak value for t1 curve this curve is the peak is coming here and for t2 curve peak is coming here and for t3 peak is coming here if you are making an observation you can see that as temperature is increasing the peak is shifting towards the left means peak is moving in this direction this is also an important observation from this Planck's distribution law actually this last point is giving you the uh, next law which is applicable for this black body radiation which is Wayne's displacement law so here we will be seeing the second black body radiation law which is Wayne's displacement law here also the monochromatic emissive power of black body with respect to lambda at a three different temperatures are shown and it is observed that for a given temperature there is a definite peak see if you are taking t1 curve there is a definite peak at which the monochromatic mc power is maximum and that at that peak i am calling the wavelength as lambda max it is occurring at a particular wavelength so this wavelength is the lambda max for t1 temperature similarly at this point eb lambda is maximum for temperature t2 so if you are taking this wavelength is the lambda max for t2 curve similarly this point where this eb lambda is occurring maximum for t3 this wavelength will be lambda max for t3 so if you are uh, making an observation as temperature is increasing this lambda max for each curve is shifting towards left similar to peak is shifting towards left i have mentioned in the previous law so lambda max is lower for higher temperatures or you can find a relationship between this lambda max at which emissive power is occurring with respect to corresponding temperature for each curve and this relation is actually known as Wayne's displacement law and this Wayne's displacement law can be obtained from Planck's law by differentiating the monochromatic emissive power with respect to lambda and equate to zero that is d by d lambda of eb lambda where eb lambda is this expression c1 by lambda raised to 5 into e raised to c2 lambda t minus 1 so if you are uh, taking the derivative and equating to zero then you will be getting lambda max into t so at this condition uh, it is obtaining maximum monochromatic emissive power and that corresponding wavelength you are calling as lambda max then after this uh, equation we will be getting lambda max into t will be equal to a constant which is 
2898 micrometer into kelvin this is a is an important result based on which usually gate questions are asked so if you are looking this lambda max is the temperature at which eb lambda is becoming maximum so you can find for any temperature lambda max at which eb lambda becomes maximum was 2898 divided by t where this is micrometer kelvin and this temperature is kelvin so you will be getting the wavelength in micrometer uh, important please note that in all radiation the temperature will be substituted in kelvins only we will be seeing another important result from this wain's displacement law so now you have obtained lambda max is equal to 2898 divided by t so if you are substituting this lambda max in this expression then you will be getting the maximum monochromatic emissive power where if this lambda is becoming lambda max then this eb lambda will be eb lambda max and after substitutions and putting values for this c1 and c2 we will be getting the maximum monochromatic emissive power will be directly proportional to t raised to 5 that means it is an important result the maximum monochromatic mc power of a black body is directly proportional to fifth power of the absolute temperature this result will be revisiting after the next radiation law which is stefan boltzmann law so the last black body radiation law is stefan boltzmann law from max planck's law you are obtaining the monochromatic mc power which is eb lambda and we have studied that monochromatic is specifying a particular wavelength using uh, which you can find the total emissive power by integrating over the entire wavelength range so the total emissive power of a black body that is eb can be obtained by integrating this planck's distribution over the entire wavelength so eb will be equal to 0 to infinity eb lambda d lambda so you can substitute this eb lambda with uh, this expression and you can substitute all the uh, values of constants and then it is obtained that uh, the eb will be equal to some constant into t raised to 4 where this constant i will be writing into sigma whose value is 5.67 into 10 raised to minus 8 watts per meter square kelvin raised to 4 which is known as stefan boltzmann constant and this law is known as stefan boltzmann law according to which this eb is total emissive power this eb is directly proportional to t raised to 4 means the total emissive power of a black body is directly proportional to fourth power of the absolute temperature. This is an important law. Stefan Boltzmann law is capital EB is equal to sigma t raised to 4 means total emissive power is directly proportional to fourth power of the absolute temperature. Previously we have seen that the monochromatic emissive power of a black body will be directly proportional to fifth power that means this is an important result the total mc power eb is directly proportional to fourth power and the monochromatic mc power of a black body will be directly proportional to fifth power this is important result uh, from this observations these mentioned laws you can see in the data book also the planck's distribution monochromatic mc power is given here from which you are getting the Wain's, dis Wain's uh, displacement law which is lambda max into t equal to 2000 2.89 into 10 raised to 3 or 2898 units micrometer kelvin please note that and the next law is stefan boltzmann law according to which total mc power is equal to sigma into t raised to uh, 4 where the value of sigma is also given so this three laws are given here three black body radiation law next we will be seeing the black body radiation function which is an important thing so here after stefan boltzmann law you are having the total emissive power is equal to sigma t raised to 4 which is the total emissive power of a black body for the entire wavelength range that means here lambda is varying from 0 to infinity now there are uh, cases when they are asking the emissive power for some range emissive power of a black body for some range say 0 to some wavelength lambda 1 that means they will be asking you the black body uh, emissive power for a range of 0 to lambda 1 this is actually giving you the range from 0 to infinity then how you can evaluate the uh, total emissive power can be this is also total emissive power in the range 0 to lambda 1 you can obtain by 0 to lambda 1 integral of monochromatic emissive power but this integration is somewhat difficult 
so for uh, making calculations easy we will be defining a function which is known as uh, the black body radiation function black body uh, radiation function which is represented by f this fraction or black body radiation function is f 0 to lambda which will be giving you the ratio of the total MSC power for a range or for a band from 0 to lambda 1 of EB lambda D lambda and over the entire range. Over the entire range means this sigma T raised to 4. So this is known as black body radiation function and if you are knowing this value of F0 lambda then by multiplying it with the sigma T raised to 4 you can obtain the uh, MC power for any range that is 0 to lambda 1 you can obtain that means by multiplying this radi black body radiation function to sigma t raised to 4 you can obtain this MC power for this specified band or range 0 to lambda 1 from where you will be getting this function this function you can see from the data book so in this data book page number 71 this function is defined as the ratio of mc power from a range 0 to lambda divided by for the entire range that is sigma t raised to 4 this heading is also given eb 0 to lambda by sigma t raised to 4 is radiation function and that value is given in this table it is given against a lambda t so if you are having the value of lambda t then corresponding radiation function you can obtain from this table so that's all about the black body and black body radiation laws thank you